Yes, that is some beautiful white mango turmeric, guys. Look at that. That's just one plant, and there's about two pounds of roots right there. Not a bad harvest at all. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. There is zero reason you should not be growing your own food. And along with that goes growing your own medicine. You know, super easy. Just out here harvesting some. In my other turmeric video, this was that bed. It's all died back now. And it looks like a beautiful harvest. Even though we are now in the new year. You know, this is 2020 harvest. Not bad at all. And every single one of these plants probably averages about a pound of roots on each one. So you can see just this little area, which it's a 50 foot bed by 10 foot. So quite a bit of turmeric out of here. And all that I do with this is lay the growing roots on the ground and they are covered with leaves, grass clippings. That's it. That's how I plant my turmeric. Super easy to pull out that way. If I was harvesting it before I let it die back completely like this, I could actually just pull it right out of the ground. But I did not get around to it, so I have to use a pitchfork now, simply because the tops are completely dead and starting to rot off. But not bad. I'm holding on to my pitchfork here. So there you go, guys. Beautiful, beautiful turmeric. If you're looking for any roots, I have the Black Knight available this year. Ooh, fire rat biting me. Sorry for the shaky camera. I have the Black Knight available, which is actually a nice, beautiful, deep metallic blue turmeric. I have this, the white turmeric, white mango, some call it. I also have a yellow variety. My orange did not do so hot this year for some reason. I'm not sure why. But if you're looking for any of those three varieties, yellow, black, or, you know, it's actually blue. But everybody calls it black. We'll call it blue. If you're looking for any yellow, blue, or white turmeric, get hold of me, guys. I sell it by the pound. It's great for growing, or you can eat it, whatever you... Whatever your heart desires, guys, that's what you do with your turmeric. <laughs> but you got to get some and grow it first. So if you're looking for it, yeah, maybe look my way. There are zero pesticides, zero herbicides, 100% Florida sky water grown. I don't even water my turmeric, really. So, and it is grown in mulch pretty much and once this turmeric's out of here I will probably run my pigs through here my two composters or maybe the cooney coonies maybe run them through here they don't excavate as much they clean up it just as well as any other pig but you don't have six foot holes when they smell a root that's ten feet in the ground <laughs> but yeah that's all I do for growing it so Get some tumor, guys. See you later. I have 50 pounds of this I have to dig up. That is my goal for the next two hours. So, wish me luck. Even, you know, post digging and harvesting after this video is uploaded and you have a look at it. But enjoy my voice. Enjoy yourself some turmeric. So go ahead and buy some. And look at that beautiful root. Look at that.
contrary to what most people will tell you as well, turmeric doesn't take years to grow. From a little tiny growing piece, you can get pounds and pounds of roots simply by giving it some good compost or good organic material and a bit of water and some warmth, guys. Warmth, that is. And you can get beautiful roots just like that. And that's not even a big one. Some of these guys can get two, three pounds for each plant. No problem. That's a large one. They get a lot larger. See you later, guys. I got work to do. Buy some turmeric. It's very good for you. Tastes great. Easy to grow. See you later.